Good evening, welcome to Fantastic Dimensions, and welcome to the suck, as Lieutenant Colonel LaRue said at the end of our last session. So 14 and Lieutenant Colonel LaRue, you have been <clears throat> reunited down here in the uh, choke with the uh, the hung lungs. Essentially in their custody, your guests, basically. Um, so 14, I believe you had some plans, and of course I'm sure the Lieutenant Colonel wants to talk to you. I, it is it is my thought that, uh, that we go back, at least a small group goes back through the, the, the clandestine way we got here from the church and retake the church from the back door, providing it both a distraction and a function of securing the great tree and the church away from the mob so that they don't do any terroristic things themselves to the church. Mm. But it is nine hours away or six hours away or whatever the it's distance nine, was. It's probably nine at least, maybe more. So uh, if that's going to happen, it's got to be coordinated with the attack. I'm not sure what the current thing is. So perhaps we need to check with Imogen and see what uh, the actual timing of the assault is. Well, I'm going to wave my hand to the hung lungs and just say, they're in desperate need of equipment. They're using spears and what other weapons they can scrounge uh, down here in the muck here. Um, my thought was we secure um, the um, security station at the top of the elevator down into the choke. Uh, as I recall, there was only about 10 mercenaries guarding it, and they have weapons uh, that we can use. Um, I think outfitting... The hung lungs uh, may it should be a priority, but um, I certainly see the value of making sure we have some kind of back channel means of communication out of this. Uh, again, kind of looking around in the dark, this this, uh, this sewer hell hole that these people are living in. Um, maybe if we coordinated something, uh, attack simultaneously, and maybe even have uh, Imogen send up another bomb squad to target a market or something so uh attentions are divided and uh, reinforcements are less likely i would actually suggest that they start bombing something useful like a communications hub or the power generators or something like that other than just bombing random shopkeepers oh uh, i I made that suggestion myself, <laughs> and uh, they didn't. Uh, Imogen didn't seem too uh, keen on it, but uh, perhaps now that we're becoming a little more organized, uh, she'll be open to the idea. But I do agree. Um, maybe even just uh, another security outpost, again, just to divide the uh, mercenaries' sure. attention. Let's 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 get it. Let's catch up with Imogen and uh, the head gardener. And see what their thoughts are. Sounds good. Okay. We will do that. Good. That's going to be several hours anyway, so we'll pass. So we will cut to the rest of the crew back up aboard the ship. I uh, Real quick, I clap Android 14 on the back and give him a, uh, a grin. 14 hugs him fully and too long. Breathes in his ear. <laughs> Captain Albright, Texas Falbard, Chief Porter, you were able to return to your ship. Uh, it was a bit of a hassle, of course, because at the moment there is just violence going on all over the station. There's roving uh, Novo Drug gangs um, causing trouble. The Tempest Company mercenaries are also trying to keep down the, um, <clears throat> the protests going on with the Teamsters and a lot of the civilians in support of the Hung Lunds, etc. Yeah, Teamsters are fighting against the Droogs, the Tempest Company operators as well. And and then, of course, yeah, you've got all the take my breath away supporters also causing trouble. So the station's in a state of total kind of unrest right now, rioting and chaos. Will we make it back? Yeah, it's a harrowing taxi ride back. And you get the feeling that you're probably that taxi driver's last fare. 
<laughs> for a while. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you get back to the ship, you get aboard. Janus, the pilot's still here. He's been here the whole time. Yep. Do we get the sense that um, the um, the management of the dock is still there? Um, uh, well, there's a lot of Tempest Company mercenaries. Yeah, the um, you hear somebody mention uh, Doc Master Loshi. So Doc Master Loshi at least is still around. Just wondering if there's anyone we could pay to um, perhaps there's, disengage. To, there's also a uh, lot of scabs, a lot of, uh, you know, Teamsters that uh, are just working for the mercenaries um, and, and not striking. We're still on lockdown, though, right? Yes, so, the whole station's on lockdown. Nobody's allowed in or out. Except for a few scab ships. You correct, mentioned. correct. A few have been allowed to depart. Mm. With Yandy's specific permission. Okay. Um, is there a way? Oh, I suppose it's Yandy has to give the go ahead. Yes. She is the station. She's, she's not queen, she's manager, not, whatever you want to call her. She's not going to believe that we're. She's not going to let us uh, give us permission, is she? Yeah. The Vor. That's her Vor. The uh, Golyanova Ibratva. Mm. Vor. Um, okay, so if there's, if I don't think there's any chance of uh, paying anyone to release the um, the ship, not to go anywhere, but to um, you mean to try to bribe somebody to let you go? Bribe someone, not even First to let of all, me go. You have to get, to, have to get to, the, to... the docking, whatever the the docking clamps essentially released. Um, yeah. Then you also have to get an override on the station security so they don't just blast you out of space. Mm, okay. Because they, they got big guns permission. too. And they have a lot more of them than you do on your ship. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is just a contingency plan that I'm taking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No problem. I'm, I'm not. I'm not Maybe else wants to pipe in. By the way, you're all leaving our in. colleagues, uh, or, or the rest of the crew. I'm just um, thinking of. Uh, yeah, were you up to date of... on on where fourteen was? I can't recall. No, the last we've heard of fourteen was that um, he and uh, he was in the middle of the whole situation at the farm. Um, situation at the farm, but he says that he was okay. I think he says he, he told us that he. He had a way of dealing with it. So, but we did hear that the High Gardener was arrested, right? So, yes, yes, that's all over the news. He's been brought to the courts. Uh, He's being held. Yeah. So, I guess we're, we've tried the communicator. There's no way of communicating with 14 um, at the moment. At the moment, no. We don't have, there's no, and we have no way of communicating with um, Lieutenant Colonel LaRue. No. Um, and we've got a one uh, one use number for Readmark when we have everything set up. Correct. Or Readmark. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, as far as the plan and the coordination is concerned, there's nothing really we can do at the moment um, except wait for someone to contact us. Right? Wait for someone to contact you. I think okay. so. Unless anyone else has any suggestions. Yeah, you, can't, you can no longer contact Imogen because your contact was through the church. And the yeah. church has been locked down right now. It's currently occupied by the Tempest Company. And any other sort of, you know, less technological communications method would be too slow. Yeah, like on foot to get down there. Yeah, it takes yeah, sure. ages, 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 ages anyway. Um, I tell you in a second here. Okay, so this is 15 minutes. So to go on foot, so you're looking at like an hour and something there, 30 minutes down, 45 minutes, then, um, another couple hours there. So you're looking at that's up to. 
two hours, 45 minutes, six hours there, eight hours, 45 minutes, and then another two hours there. Yeah, it'd take over 11 hours to walk there. Yeah, I don't think that ends up for an 11 hour walk. Lots of yeah. chances to run into trouble on the way. And then there's that shortcut you took, but you wouldn't know the way back because you were guided before, remember? Yeah. Um, that took 16 hours. So call it a shortcut, but it goes past a lot yeah. of the uh, stuff. Um, I suppose all we can do is just be ready to move whenever we have, okay. uh, whenever we've been contacted. Um, so sort just of check all your weapons, require. make sure everybody's locked and loaded, get all the stuff you're going to need. Yeah. Because you're expecting a fight to kick off once Imogen Heap is brought to court? Mm hmm Okay. Can I prep the ship's weapons as well? Yeah, you can check them, make sure everything's good and ready to go. You're a little quiet, Chris. I can barely hear you. Sorry. Um, but yeah, you can definitely check them, make sure they're all ready to go. Um, you probably don't want to load it up and, and charge it up right now in dock with the station, but... Um, do we know of the plans of the other ship, um, Reedmar's ship? No, but you can contact them easily through communications. I mean, yeah. Um, Commander Uzo. I should get an image for Commander Uzo. Shouldn't I? What's the name? Yeah. What the hell's the name of the ship? Throw it in the mouth. They conquer all, is that it? Conquer all, correct. That was the name of the ship. Captain, should we should we let Uzo know uh, about our Reedmar encounter? Um, yes. I mean, Reedmar says that we um, he fully supported what we were doing, right? Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. But Thanks. I think uh, I think uh, it would. Uh, behoove us to let Uzo know in case uh, they don't have a way to contact Reedmar to say when things do happen, you know, Reedmar might need to move quickly and uh, mm. when all hell breaks loose. And I think his people should know. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, let's do that. You just contact them on communications, right? Don't. On a secure a channel. Secure channel. For Reedmar? Um, no, for, for Uzo. Oh, for Uzo. Yeah, Uzo. Uzo. Yeah, you want to contact yeah. Uzo now, yeah? Got it. Yeah, just to, to make them aware that we had the meeting and it went well with Reedmar, and um, we might need to act quickly. Um, just... Okay, hold on. I'll make sure to pull up on. an image for Uzo. Yeah. Sure. So once I get that set up here, then uh, we'll Look, we, go through those communications. Then, what's your pilot? Like we don't doing? know if. Yeah. Are you Not there, sure. What are you, what are you? What's Janus at at the moment? Maybe he's not there. Well, no, Janus is here. Know. I hope he's not sleeping at the uh, controls. Oh, I would most likely be <laughs> making sure the engines are okay. No, that's my job. Yeah, I know it's your job, but I'm still <laughs> fucking on this ship, and I'm going to check it myself. Because <laughs> you weren't here whenever I was checking it. I sense some trust issues uh, amongst the uh, Don't crew. touch the engines. <laughs> I said, look at him, not touch them. See that control stick? You can touch that. You can't touch the engine. That's what she said. Oh, I've already touched that. I've already touched that and familiarized myself with that. So, yeah. All right. Now I got one for Uzo. This is why I need an engineering robot again. <laughs> you should refit Sandy. That's going to be Uzo. Ah, nice. nice. She's younger than I expected. That's right. Make this image a little bit. Uh, but then again, maybe she's in a sleeve, right? She could be like whatever. Oh, yeah. She's an 85 year old dude. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All is, right. There you go. True, yeah. Commander Uzo gets on the cop, answers your com, finally. 
says, all right, Captain, I have you on a secure channel. Um, we just wanted to uh, make sure that you knew that we had successfully met the weed mar the chop shop and that um, we have a means of uh, communicating um, times and places, the time and the place for the, um, the uh, what we were discussing or what we were discussing um, with Exos Falbert and 14. So we just wanted to keep you informed and um, we need to be ready to move in uh, perhaps quite quickly. I understand. I've had confirmation of those arrangements that you made with our mutual friend. Good. If there's anything that's, uh, uh, we can do to assist. I think uh, that assistance could be um, useful. The Conquer All is uh, as best we can at your disposal, Captain. Thank you, Commander. Um, you are still on um, lockdown as well, right? You. We are indeed, yes. Do you remember what I said the crew complement was of the ship? I do not at all. Hold on. The, uh, of the uh, Conquer All? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the only it's number I have written near the Conquer All is 104. Four. That might be the crew complement. Uh, let me double check something here. Five, 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 six, four, two, uh, cryo chambers. Yeah, that sounds probably about right. 104, I think that's how many uh, people I said that they had approximately. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, if you need any assistance, let us know. We will we'll be in touch as soon as we've um, got confirmation on um, when this is going to happen. And the, um, you know, she says, yeah, okay, no problem. Anyway, signs out. And more news pops up on the uh, station's interweb. Says that, um, <clears throat> where is it here? Yes, the choke has been quarantined officially. No one is allowed out for any reason. All oxygen debts are doubled on all citizens of Doptown until they turn the leaders of the Honglungs in. Hmm. And this has not done anything uh, positive for the peace on the streets whatsoever. Mind you. <laughs> Except for the fact that they have now locked down the you know, uh, access to and from the choke nobody nobody's allowed in or out and all oxygen debts are currently doubled unless the uh, leaders are turned in mm. Mm. brutal yeah yeah i found i think i just heard someone in the background of that report say no taxation without representation <laughs> that's all of course by orders of yandy she, she's such a sweetheart right I think she just sealed her fate with that move. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Any other plans, Captain, to enact or just uh, preparations? Yeah, just general preparations, waiting for, um, waiting for, the, waiting beside the phone. Waiting you know? for the storm to break. Yep. All right. We'll go back down below. Just check in. Checking those stim packs, make sure I've plenty in stock. Um, do you have any in stock? Oh, you you have some yeah, to get do, yourself, yeah. right? Still, still got twelve. Ha, got have you taken stash. one today? Um, well, I would have taken one in the chop shop, so it's not that long after, right? Yeah, you're right. Really? Okay, cool. This is really yeah. cool. All right, got it. just double checking. Yeah. I gotta keep tabs on you. Um, all right, so back down to fourteen and Lieutenant Colonel Larue. 14, I need you to give me a body save at advantage. Uh, 
First one, is a 77. Second one is a 17. I'll take the 17. Okay. Is that a success to take it? Yeah. Um, I'm hoping. Hold on one second. Uh, yes. Success. Okay. Very good. Uh, his body's a 40. Perfect. No problem. So, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Rue, do you have any cyber modifications? Uh, no. No? Not okay. this juncture. Gotcha. Grant. After a few hours, um, Imogen and the High Gardener will come to see you as requested. Very good. Uh, 14 will make his, uh, you know, his forehead gesture or whatever and mm -hmm. ask to speak with the High Gardener for a moment. In private? In private. Okay. Um, Kane will shrug her shoulders. She doesn't mind. Take it, so so once uh, once they're in private, uh, 14 will apologize and note that uh, he had suggested to the, the lieutenant colonel who works for uh, 14 in the ship that uh, we take a compliment of lung lungs to through the same passage that we escaped through and retake the church as one protect the tree in the church's interest as well as a distraction for the upcoming assault without thinking that perhaps that that secret passageway should have remained secret so uh asking his permission to continue on with that particular chain of thought or to let it go uh let, let that go for now 14 we will take the church back once the uh full strike starts very good high gardener in the meantime, we'll go back and, in the meantime, yeah, I want you to assist Imogen Kane. She has a special uh, request for you and your companion. We live to serve the tree first. Okay. I don't have an image for Imogen Kane either, but I'm not going to search for one right now. Okay. So Uka Uka then will let you go talk to Imogen with uh, Lieutenant LaRue. This is okay. You're eager to help, right? You're sympathetic to our situation here. And we're going to pull this whole ruse off together, right? And get rid of Yandy. Cut the head off the snake. Indeed. Plan. All right. Well, I need your assistance. My uh, people, we need a we need a victory. A victory close to home. Uh, hopefully it will help us to resupply a bit as well. We're going to plan a, stri a strike. You'll be going with a uh, team of Hung Lungs back to Doptown. From there, you're going to get access to the elevator and take it up to the top and assault the airlock. Very good. We need to take control of the airlock so that we can get access to the station. They won't be expecting us to hit them right there at the front gate after they've just attacked our support above on the surface at the church. Also, having access to the station through the airlock gives us a very, very uh, straightforward path to the courts. Leader Imogen, that, that sounds like a great plan, and Lieutenant C Colonel LaRue is perfectly uh, suited for that. But I'm sure you're well aware that uh, he moves a li little closer to her. Androids tend to make uh, humans uncomfortable, and they may not fight at their best in my presence. Did, did you want me involved in the direct strike or as a follow up support? Are you telling me you, uh, you're not? Very useful in a fight. 14, is that what you're saying? Oh, I'm quite useful. I'm just afraid that others might get a little weirded out, as it were. What do you think, LaRue Lieutenant? pipes up. He says, I've been training them. They're, trust me, they have more to fear than uh, 
you uh, 14. If they fail, they're going to have my boot up their ass. Fair enough. That's decided then. You'll go with them. Of course. Carry forth. When do we leave? In an hour. Uh, I'll, I'll just tell Imogen Kane that uh, I've been having very similar thoughts, and I think her plan is an excellent one. And I'm happy to serve. Anyway, you leave in an hour. That should get you to the... Uh, well, that should get you to Doptown um, in the early afternoon. From there, it's quick access to the elevator. How many hung lungs are accompanying us? That is a good question. Um, and will there be explosives involved? Um, explosives? You, how many explosives do you want? We have a suicide bomber. Do we have access to uh, bombs themselves? You can get access to explosives. Yeah. What do you want? What's your plan? Well, we'll probably we probably won't be able to get up there using the elevator. So right, so we'll probably have to use some Why of the. Not? Uh, wasn't it closed off? Hmm? Well, I mean, if we could go quarantined, but if the elevator is coming up, they might be expecting it to be the team from down below. Especially if we can hit them without them communicating to the surface that they've been That's attacked. That's true. Uh, Leader Imogen, is there any chance that there's uh, maintenance shafts that we could travel up alongside of the elevator and maybe gain access that way? Um, like an alternative maintenance shack to, uh, yes, there is another way. Uh, well, like, you mean like to go, you, you mean to go from the, the outside. You mean to go from the outside, but then you won't, you know, because you, you go, the lift goes up. And it opens up, and in front of the lift is the airlock area. And then beyond the airlock gotcha. is the station. So you can take the circuit pathways to, to bypass all that, but then you'll just be on the other side of the airlock. You'll be fighting your way in instead of out. Does that make sense? Interesting. Yeah. Also, it takes Where a lot can... longer to take the long route. Fair enough. And it's not as yeah. comfortable for a lot of people. The uh, airlock area, now that's where the toughest company's got um, their station set up. Am, am, am I remembering this correctly? I'm just trying to visualize exactly where we're expecting to see the fight. Because we want to get through them to get the airlock open. Mm -hmm. are, are we expected to blow the airlock or are we are we just trying to to get control of the airlock. Well, having control of the airlock would be nice. If we could blow it, though, that's even better because then that keeps them from resealing it right away. So could we just load the elevator up with a bunch of bombs, put it to the top, and blow it up? It'd be risky. It might not, uh, because the checkpoint is between the elevator and the airlock. You might take out the okay. checkpoint and not damage the airlock, but... Yeah, that would right, a lot right, of chance. right. So we could go up. Unless you're volunteering. Uh, I mean, you're an Android 14. Uh, you don't have any problem going with the bombs, do you? If need not be. Not at all. But the thought that I had was is that we could all travel with the elevator to go to the checkpoint, take the checkpoint, and then send the elevator up, if need be, with the bombs and blow it. Sure. It's 30 minutes each way on that elevator, though. So if you could take them with you in the first, in the first place, it might be helpful. Indeed. So we'll we'll, we'll be sure to we'll be we'll... sure to keep the uh, state the security forces busy on the station so they won't be uh, as fully enforced as they might wish to be during the quarantine at the airline. Do you have itself. a you have a bomb expert or is it pretty much a plug and play? Push a button, call it good. Um, experts are few down here. Do you have Fair an enough. expert? She looks at you, Lou. I am uh, trained in explosives, so so you're yes, better. You're better. You're better than our best man, probably. 
All right, perfect. Or at least as good. So, as I recall, there's ten men, roughly, at the checkpoint. Um, my thought would be. Yep, armored troopers. Okay. We got, there's as as... Um, two cement turret bunkers there. I'm wondering if we need a decoy of some kind. Um, like a bundle of some uh, of explosives disguised as something. How about something toxic? Something that would affect the atmosphere in the uh, in the checkpoint. They're sending 20, them out. 20 hung lungs with you, but you're going to pick up more in Doptown. Okay. All right, so if we in were Dop to... Town, uh, you get as many as you want, pretty much. There's millions of people there. If you uh, if you manage to take out the checkpoint at the airlock, well, let's just say you'll have plenty of backup. Okay. How many, um, how many people how, could we could how many people could we conceivably put on an attack? elevator? Yeah. How many could we attack with? Could I think I, I said like early that? on in the campaign, this elevator is like it's a huge freight elevator. You could probably easily fit a hundred people on there with like gear and stuff on. Quantity. people it is quantity is a quality all of its own yep i think we, we could one of our options is to just rush them yep. with wave each after one, wave one. yeah each one with a grenade or something like that and um, pull, the pin, pull the pin and run forward um that's a bike uh, was there any like heavy weapons big guns behind these bunkers uh the cement bunkers or is it just armed men uh they're it's a cement turret bunkers. Cement turret, yeah, okay. So cement turrets being the the, the battlements, basically, yeah. So um, not not turrets like gun turrets. I think I think it's like tower turrets, you know. Okay. So, okay. Uh, so they they are armed with smart rifles at the at the uh, airlock. You remember, and they have frag grenades. Right. Because these are the heavy armored troopers. They're permitted to carry explosives. Um, I'm thinking the 20 Hung Lungs that are coming with us, um, if they have any ranged weapons, they should be armed as such. We pick up another 80, have them with, uh, grenades or, you know, uh, Molotovs or something, some kind of, yeah, explosive device, um, uh, and have them rush the turrets and the and the group essentially to try to take do as much damage as possible while the other well actually it would be 78 because there'd be 20 plus us two so uh the uh, the the 22 of us left behind uh so to speak will be in the elevator and uh using ranged weaponry to try to give uh the 78 Doptonians as much cover as possible take out some of these guys with the smart guns and uh hopefully someone will make it through to the tur turrets and um be a martyr for the cause you've got a real rebel's heart larue imogen says i look her square in the eye and say this has nothing to do with Rebellion. It's pra it's pragmatism. You want to win? This is how we're going to do it. It just takes the uh, pack down off her back. She's got like a little backpack type thing on, and, and she pulls something out of it, a box, and she hands it to you and says, This will help um, if you can use it before the trouble starts, before they know what's going on. That'll make sure they don't get any communications out for a while. You want to open the box and see what's in the box? What's in the box? Yeah, I'll open it. You've got explosives knowledge already, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, make it, or you can make a roll for it. It's um, an improvised, highly illegal. Um, what is what's it called? EMP device, electromagnetic NEMP. pulse, electromagnetic pulse, explosive. Nice. So it'll knock out all the electronics up there. That's um, this is sexy. It may not, it'll knock out the lights, it'll knock out communications. Mm. 
Mm. Perfect. Yeah, well, that's what we'll do then. As soon as the doors open and the uh, and we bum rush, we'll set off the EMP and start shooting. It'll give give some of our uh, give us some cover too. Hopefully, the darkness anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll we'll just bring torches, you know, uh, suit lights, you know, shoulder lamps, all that stuff. You got Another those. Plan. All right, cool. So you guys, within the hour, are linked up with these 20 Hung Lungs. Um, 10 of them actually have laser cutters. Um, nice. all, all 20 of them have spears. OK. Um, um, OK. Sorry? I will instruct them to hang back when the fight starts. The, the, uh, these uh, Hung Lungs are. You are you represent the best of the best, so I can't have you uh, getting shot by the uh, Tempest Company. All right, so you're taking point. Absolutely. Okay, because you got two hour walk before you get to the sink, and then you got six hour walk across the sink, across the old city, uh, to you can get to the Sludge Waterfall, which you'll then have to climb up um, to get to Daptown. Excellent. Why don't you go ahead and roll a d10 for me? Um, in fact, just roll two d10s for me, Matt. A nine and a three. Nine and a three. Excellent. Here's the very first one. Um, in the tunnels, um, the drain pipes, basically, like cramped drain pipes, you got to pretty much kind of crawl through these drain pipes. Um, and you're at the front, LaRue? Yeah. Uh, let me see here. It is a nine, you said, right? Yeah. Okay. Page 25 is over. No, 25. That's the wrong page for sure. Isn't it? Uh, yeah, for sure. I'm looking for page 35. Okay. That was a typo. Got it. Here we go. Go ahead and roll me uh, 1d10. Eight. Got another D10. Five. Um, and one more. Seven. Excellent. OK. Crawling through the tunnels, um, you come to a massive pile of tangled wires and cables. Uh, there's a huge hole. Um, in, in the, the, the drain pipe itself. Um, and you can just see there's more of this cable feeding in from out there. And there's okay. something amongst the cables. Like you, now that you're getting closer, you get your light on it, I imagine, right? And you're at the front. Mm -hmm. You guys are pretty much single file. Um, it looks like, like egg sacks of some kind or something. Oh, great. Um, hmm. Do any of these egg sacs look like they're pulsing or anything like that? Or are they just sort of inert? They're just inert. I'm going to whisper back, uh, ask any of the um, hung lungs if they know what these things are, and I'll describe what I see. Okay, you call him back? Yeah. As I say, it's, it sounds like some of the strangest that we've seen here in the choke recently. I don't know what's going on. Be careful. Could be uh, something to do with this this cybernetic <sighs> sickness going on down here. All of these uh, choke spawn and stuff that have been prowling the old city and the and the the tunnels here. Be careful up there, Larue. Can we, can I, um, I, I mean, it's basically kind of crawl through the wires and whatnot to keep going forward, mm -hmm. but can I like go up in, you said there was like a hole in the drain pipe. Can we like bypass it? See if we can find a detour. Um, no, you've got to go through here. Does it okay. look like they can be secured with foam, the hardening foam? 
If you do that, you won't be able to pass through. Okay, very good. Hmm. Well, I say we put a couple of the hunglongs through that are very familiar with the area to see if they can uh, nagle a, a cleaner pathway. Well, uh, it looks like this is the only way we can go. Wink. Um, wink, hmm. wink, wink. I'm, <laughs> I'm wondering if we can... How sturdy do these drain pipes look? Well, actually, you know what? Stra scratch that. Um, I was thinking about blowing them up with some with a grenade. Um, do you have a grenade? Hit. Oh, you guys got you tons of grenades. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got lots of explosives. Can we, uh, don't a, we don't have a flamethrower, do we? No, didn't ask for a flamethrower. That would be nice. Did we really need? Did we really need to ask for one? Sorry, Larue, what were you going to say? I'm wondering. You think, uh, looking, can... you think you'll see one of the wires kind of move a little bit, almost uh, serpent-like? The wires themselves are moving. Oh, mm -hmm. geez. And this is a. All this, right. this is like, well, this is one big cable with multiple cables inside of it that you can see exposed. Um, it's probably um, as big around as your torso, actually. I'd say. All right. Um, I'm going to instruct the crew to back up, and I'm going to back up. Um, to like, I guess, uh, a decent range, um, mm -hmm. trying to guess like how far the cable might be able to stretch. And then, uh, hard to tell. Cause you don't even know where the origin of it is somewhere through that hole. Right. Right. Um, okay. Definitely not going to try to be too close to it essentially. And then okay. I think the only option I can see is, uh, a bit of the old ultra violence. I think it might light it up with my pulse rifle okay just start blasting with the pulse rifle yeah okay how many shots you can take well i could do three three i have to reload yeah so you empty a clip and as you're doing so these egg things start to burst and you see them spraying out and, and this uh this like green yellowish liquid that sprays out of them seems to be like acidic and it burns wherever it lands until it stops after uh you know, a minute, um, and the the wires start to wind and move real fast, and it gets sucked back up through the hole and gone. And the, the okay. eggs are all the eggs are all burst burst it up, and the acid's just sizzling away for about another minute after you stop shooting until it kind of stops. Oh, note to self: next time, don't take point. Um. <laughs> Uh, I, I get once uh, the the acidy stuff stops sizzling, uh, I'll start moving forward, uh, reloading my clip, of course. Okay, you start moving forward. Yes. Past the uh, the hole in the wall and the the acid on the ground, and well, not the acid, but you know the acid scars on the ground. The uh, the, the kind of the remains of the egg are kind of like the flesh of it. It looks kind of like. Um, Kind of like used condoms, you know. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's Coney Island whitefish. <laughs> um, give me a let's see, be a speed test. No, give me um, what do I make it make it a saving throw? Yeah, give me a body save. Okay. As you're moving through this, to make sure you don't uh, touch any of this, this egg remaining shell or whatever with any of the stuff on it. Oh. Failed. 87. Okay. Oh, yeah. Psst, uh, burns your hand a little bit. You just take one point of damage. Um, and give me a fear check, please. Who's right oh, behind him? Failed. Some hong lungs. Okay. So as you're there, you know, kind of like, ah, you're looking at your hand. You hear like a rumbling sound. You're not sure exactly what it is at first. And then the cable thing comes flying back through the hole and attacks you. So give oh, me a body great. save, please. Okay. 23, that is a success. Okay, so it tries to wrap around your body and you manage to squirm out of it real quick, kind of dodge past it. Now it's between you and the rest of the group. What do you want to do? Um, I will... Well, roll speed test first, see if you go first, I guess. The hung lungs are just kind of like 
shocked at first. Uh, well, they'll, they'll go. Um, yeah, they'll go last. Oh, failed. 72. OK, so the thing goes at you again. Make another body save. Ah, uh, 42 failed this time. OK, so now this time it wraps around your leg and slams you down on the ground prone. OK. Um, you take another 23 points of damage from that. Yikes. Are you a Marine or are you a Teamster? You're a Marine Marine, right? Yep. Yeah, okay, cool. It's your turn. Mm. All right. Well, I guess I'll use my Vibro Shetty and try to hack this thing in half. Okay. I don't know if I can shoot it in uh, while I'm, you know. So I'll just do that, I guess. Go for it. Ooh. Okay, make your tech. Your roll. 44. That's, that's, a, that's a success. Critical success. Oh, that's um, right. Uh, which means... Critical uh, success machete is a sever, right? Yep. Do you remember? Oh, yes, it hacks off a limb. Yep, so you cut through it, and you're free again. Good, well done. Um, and... The nearest hung lung is going to come forward and stab at him with the spear. He doesn't want to fight a laser cutter because you're over there. He doesn't want to hit you. They um, literally stab it at it with their steely knives. Ooh, he rolled a hit. Um, but it got a success on its armor, didn't it? Um, yes, it did. And uh, it had a higher number. So he hits it, um, stabs at it with a spear, but he doesn't pierce through it in any way. And it's flailing around. Um, looks like it's going to probably try to continue to do what it does. But... Uh, it's initiative again. So the only people that can attack it right now are this one Hung Lung. Actually, John, you can roll for him next then. Um, and LaRue. So LaRue, roll a speed test, please. Okay. Oh, failed again. My God. Okay. So roll body save. Oh, failed again. You get snatched again um, and slammed again, this time against the wall and then to the ground for 27 points of damage. Uh, and it's your turn. Oh my god. All right. I am hurt here. Um, uh, use the Vibra Shetty again. Go for it. That's a 46. That's a success. Okay. Do and his armor that? save to see. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh, no. I got a critical success of his armor save. Oh. 22. So you swing the Vibra Shetty, but it doesn't cut through this time. Okay. Um, it's a hard part of the uh, wire framing. And uh, 14, you can roll for the uh, the hung lung. Um, go ahead and roll a spear attack. I'll roll armor. <gasps> spear attack. I rolled a double zero. Yeah, I, I got a 16, but I don't. That's a hit. Uh, spear damage. Oh. What was that? I think it's D10. Uh, let me double check that. Hung lung, spears, 2D10. 2D10 damage. 2d10? Roll. Really? Yep. Go ahead and roll. Wow. Uh, a 7 and a 3, so 10. Okay. Uh, that does a significant amount of damage to it. Hurts it. And it's the next round. Make your fear save, uh, LaRue, as it's about to try to retreat, and it's going to try to take you with it. I rolled a 2. That's a success. Okay, you go first. Okay, I will... Um... Back at it again, I guess. Okay, go for it. Make my armor save. I rolled a one. Okay, that's the lowest possible fucking success. Yeah, I rolled a I rolled a five. So, so you, you uh, win. You hit it. Oh, oh okay. I damage. Forgot. Did you get the higher result? Yep. Damage. Yep. Uh, that's ten points of damage. Ten points of damage. Oof, not quite enough. Um, it starts to pull what? itself back up through the uh, the crack. Uh, and it takes you with it. You are going to take 20 points of damage as it slams you up through this crack a bit. Um, you know, just overextending maybe a leg or an arm or something as it's pulling you now into this hole in the wall. Um, meaning now the hung lung no longer has access to it. The hung lung only has access to you as you're sticking out of the hole probably from like your chest up. What do you want to do, LaRue? 
I'll make fear safe well, first. Well, uh, I'm, I'm long not, not grab him speed, and try to pull him out. Test, I mean, speed test. I mean. Yeah, possibly. Make a speed uh, test. Roll the, roll the two. A two? Okay. Yep. Yes. So you're going to grab try to help him out. So I'm going to call this a body save with advantage, LaRue. Okay. To try to pull yourself free of this thing and so it doesn't drag you into the guts of the station. All right. I got a six. That's still a fail with the advantage. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. Um, oh, no. Can I attack it? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make it attack. Because it's still got a hold of you. I'll say if you want, you can and, say. And you. the hung can the hung lung not help him by grabbing him, trying to. He pull is. Him out? That's why he got advantage on the roll. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You still make an attack against the Larue. You're the only one who can attack it. So go for it. All right, okay. Here we go. Oh, that's a fail. Dang it. Oh really? Okay. Um, it pulls you in through, and now it. Uh, the hung lung has to let go or get pulled through himself. I'm assuming he lets go. Probably. He's a zealot. He hangs on for everything. No, he lets go. This time you only take 18 points of damage. Okay. And I am out. You're out? Yep. Lieutenant Colonel LaRue, uh, is kind of, you hear him shouting inside and struggling and fighting. And then he, you know, he goes quiet. Some blood kind of trickles in as you hear the sound of something being dragged away. Forward, men! Don't let him die in vain. Go, 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 go. <laughs> through the hole, through the hole, through the hole. Pushing your way through the hole. You guys continue on. They're not through the hole. You go, go through the drain, I mean. Yeah? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You guys push on through the drain. Um, continue on leaving uh, poor LaRue lost somewhere in the uh, the guts of the station down here, the old station. The last one through, if they've got a grenade, throw it into the crack. As you're moving on further, before you get to the actual sink itself, the old city. Sorry, this is all about the sink. Before you get to the old city, I am going to need you to make a body save, 14. Yeah, bye. A 33. A 33? Yeah, he's got a, a body of 40. Okay, good. Good. So you uh, a sinkhole opens up as you get kind of up to towards the edge of the old city, um, and let's see, you had twenty of those guys with you, right? Yes. So um, eight of them fall in, uh, but they can get back out. They just take like a D10 damage, basic falling okay. damage. They're hurt. We'll bind their out. wounds up real quick and get them out of there. Pull them up out of there, and you're at the edge of the old city. You can see the digital archives. Um, you know you have to push on through here to get to the falls. And I think that's a good place to take a bio break. Bio break. Oops, I didn't mean to turn 14 off. Where's my break screen for this? There we go. Bio, bio break. Night break. What'd you say? Good night, Lever. Yeah, sorry, Matt. Uh, bound to happen. He may pop up say. again in future, but not as a player character, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what fate befell Remy LaRue when he got pulled through the wall by some kind of cyber creature. I mean, that could have just been like one finger or one you know, little tentacle or something, some huge station-sized monster. <laughs> That'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> right, right, right. You know that, that you know what that reminds me of? Did you ever play Dead Space? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you remember yeah. those fucking yeah. things that would pull you through the wall and like, rip you to shreds? Yes, yes. Fell to them on many occasion. Except this one was made of cabling and wires, but yeah. I love those games, man. I, I don't care if the third one kind of stunk. It was still a cool series. Yeah, I only played the first one and I think I only played it once. I did enjoy it. The second game is the best in my opinion. I fucking love that game. Dead Space 2. One of my favorite gaming experiences. Because it takes place on a space station. So there's, you know, um, and it takes place basically at the outbreak of an attack. So it's not like after an attack when everybody's already dead and turned to monsters. So it's like you actually interact with a bunch of other people. You see other citizens on the station, stuff like that. But uh, 
Oh, that sounds cool. That's not too much of a spoiler because the actual opening credit scene basically is the outbreak of the attack. So. <laughs> It's fucking great. Did you ever uh did you ever play Alien Isolation? I fucking I love and hate that game. That's the one where you gotta crawl around and hide from shit, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I can't I, I can't get anywhere in it. I suck. Oh, I I I loved that game. I, I got uh, to the point I think where you run into a group of other like human survivors or whatever. Yeah. And they'll fucking shoot you on sight. Yep. You got to try to get yeah. past them, I think. And I can't fucking figure it yeah. out. I can't get around them. Yeah, you the what, what the thing about that game is um you I don't even really think have I've to seen use... the alien yet. Or maybe I've seen it once but barely. Yeah. The uh uh one of the group of I think I know what section you're actually talking about. Yeah, that one you have to be very sneaky to get around that one. Um but there's yeah. a great section where um it's like a big open area with multiple levels uh like a like a, i don't know like a balcony yeah uh, I think was, and um yeah they're they'll, they'll shoot at you but what you can do is you can either build the noisemaker or mess around with the, the computer controls to create noise and basically summon the alien which kills everybody while you sneak out the other side. Um, yeah, that's how I I got through that one. <laughs> Holy shit, that's fucking brilliant. I don't know why I never thought of that. Yeah, um, but yeah, that I really like that game. So like cool. you, it's so cool. It looks so good. Yeah, I I would always turn off the lights and play in the dark. I would oh, get yeah. my heart rate I, would be I going. I do that with every <laughs> game I play anyway. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was a good one. My wife, uh, who's not a gamer at all, would actually watch me play because it was Cause that good. That. Yeah, yeah. And the working Joes, those androids are so creepy. I'm, yeah. yeah. Um, I actually started running a uh, uh, alien RPG game. Um, whenever we can get together to play, but Using um, the, uh, I the free league rules. Yep. Yep. It's it's fun. It's more of a narrative based game. So it's, you know, I don't know, a lot of storytelling, I guess, but it's, I like the panic mechanic and, uh, um, but I had to put working Joe's in it. <laughs> I had to put working Joe's in my campaign cause, uh, they were just so damn creepy. <laughs> That's totally fair. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. All right. Well, I'm going to get a refill of my bourbon and think about my next character. My goodness. I still can't believe he died. Oh, he was bound to happen. <laughs> the way I was playing him, it was bound to happen. It was the rolls, man. The dice. dice determined. Yeah. I gave him plenty yeah. of opportunities to get out. <laughs> yep. They damaged it enough to make it retreat, at least. But uh, yeah, If he couldn't get out, it was going to take him with it and do damage the whole way. Just dragging you through fucking little corridors that your body's not meant to fit through. Yeah, sorry I'm not doing more. I'm just trying to hide. <laughs> Your character hasn't come off the ship since he gets signed on. I know. It's a wonderful ship. It's very comfortable. I'm quite thankful to 14. Now 14 is going to have to lead the fucking strike. Thankfully, 14 has not asked me if I can fire a gun, so I really shouldn't offer to help until he knows. 
I seem to recall him asking you that actually during the interview process. And I told him, yes, I can use a firearm. It's just not my fault if he doesn't remember, because you know. I'm just expecting to have to, for some reason, jump in the pilot seat, undock the ship, dock it at some weird ass fucking airlock to go pick up everybody to where I can get the fuck off the ship or get off the, the station. That was a nice little break. John, you back? Barry, you back? Anybody? Yep, I'm back. I'm back. John's not back. That's okay. I seem to recall him yeah. talking about on the mothership uh, unofficial Facebook group a uh, experimental class or a character class mutant. <laughs> I thought that might be a good way to tie in a new character. Maybe someone from the choke. I don't know about a mutant in my games. My oh, games. fair enough. Fair I'm enough. Not, I'm not big on mutants. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, who am I looking for here? There's Athridge. There's Porter. I'm missing. Oh. Now, by saying mutant. 
by saying so mutant, he might have meant uh, somebody that's just messed up, not not any superpowers. Uh, if you want, you can write up a, a cyborg, and then I can give you some mutations later. Cybernetic mutations. Mm, cyborg. Um, but we'll probably have to get to that after this session anyway. But Works unfortunately, for me. sorry. Um, it's all good. Captain Albright. Because, um, you just holding down the ship until you hear from 14 or somebody, or until you hear from the Hung Lung side, basically. You've got the uh, Readmar on standby. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Waiting by the phone. Um, waiting for old uh, Lieutenant Colonel to get in touch. The you know? fire is 438 decks. Or 430 decks. Sorry. Now, up to 78 of those decks are above ground. So you're looking at, what's the math there? Uh, 352 decks from the uh, very bottom. Of course, you're not coming from the very bottom either. So you're probably coming up about 300 decks worth. Would that make sense in 30 minutes? That's 10 decks every minute on the elevator. That sounds fair, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just trying to think, you know, for purposes of... Uh... Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. Well, I guess I don't really need to go to Albright and team right now. I need to go to 14. But I was waiting for John to get back. Okay, 14. <clears throat> you guys made it to the uh, old city. Give me another D10 roll, please. Very good. Uh, a seven. A seven. Okay. Yes. Who's on? Who's on point? You got Hung Lung's taking the point now. You're you're hanging back. Fourteen stealth and stuff. Not your your uh, forte. Fourteen. Fourteen uh, understands that his presence is going to cause some weirdness when it becomes times of stress. That's just the nature of humans because they're frail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's going to hang back, not in a cowardly fashion, but more of the sweeper so he can observe. Okay. So cool. he will put the uh, most crafty, scouty type of Hung Lungs forward. Uh, roll D5 for me. D5. Okay. A two. Two. Okay. So at some point, anyway, you get gestured to, to like, get down and take cover. Um, just, you know, you've got 20, basically, uh, Hung Lungs up ahead of you. Uh, yes. So you take cover, and then after a minute, you hear some sound up ahead. You hear some, uh, like a scuffle. Mm -hmm. You hear the sound of a um, a pulse rifle go off, and then silence, pretty much. Um, and all the hunglings run up, and I assume you come up from the back, and you realize they've basically just ambushed two Tempest operators uh, and confiscated two pulse rifles off of their bodies, basically. I is it, uh, is it too late to retcon the, the thought? Of course, these guys are all scavengers. If the pulse rifle from LaRue was left over, would we already have that? Uh, no, he had it on him when he got dragged through. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, okay, very good. I wasn't begging, just asking. No problem, no problem. In fact, he had his... Very good, he will give he them the, the in his hand. If you wanted to go climbing up through the hole, you might be able to recover that, but... Uh, no, 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 no. So let him take his artifacts with him to his grave. Okay. Oh, then he will give kudos to all those present and uh, know that that is just yeah, the two smallest. Of them, two of them take up the pulse rifles, unless you want one. They offer you one. No. Uh, okay, then they take victory them. goes to the victors. So They take them. Yep. Moving on. Another it's just D10. the first step in a bigger victory. Move forward. Another D10, please. A D10. A nine. Nine. All right. Roll another D10. A five. Five. Okay. Um, and two D10, please. You want them combined or the individual numbers? Combined. Uh, two and an eight, so it's a ten. Ten. You come across ten throbbing eggs. God damn it. Uh, but you're in the city now, so the, the uh, hung lungs are going to maneuver you around them. All right, unless well, then you, we will call you wanna, Unless you want to investigate them at all. Nope, we will just call attention to those to let everybody know that there are eggs in that area. 
let some local be the the town crier in regards to that. Did Imogen give us a point of contact that once we got here to do the rallying call to gather more troops to go to the elevator? Uh, you're going to meet up with more troops to go to the elevator in Dobtown. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought we were at Dobtown. Very good. No, no, you're, in the, old, you're in the old city. You're still in old the city. Old city, gotcha. You have to climb up the uh, sludge waterfall before you can get to Dobtown, remember? Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, roll another D10 for me, please. This is the third one in the city? Yes. Six, yes. A six. Excellent. Uh, you come across a group of Hong Lung. Um, there are, let me see here. There we go. Nine of them, nine Hong Lungs. They're on their way going the opposite direction. They said, they tell you, uh, basically they talk to the other group. And they've also got, sorry, um, an engineer with them as well who actually is dragging a, a big replacement filter on a on kind of like a skid type thing um they say they're on their way to life support to uh to replace the filter um that they've uh, scavenged uh they very good the, they also say they heard uh things are going down pretty soon there's people gathering in dop town and uh, we've been told to head to the uh to the base after this to the veins Looks like some kind of strikes being planned. Yeah, everybody's gathering. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, another D10 the for you then for your next hour. This is your fourth hour in the old city. You've gone past the uh, sewers and the outpost now, coming up on the metro station. Need another die ten. Mm-hmm. Seven. Seven. Uh, and a D five. One. One. Uh, come across another. Tempest operator who's lost, running out of oxygen, and and freaking out. Um, he's uh, actually um, out of ammo. And they come across him. They subdue him pretty quickly. He surrenders himself. They take his pulse rifle off him, and they can. He's got communications him. on him. Uh, he does have a short range communicator on him. Yeah. Okay. Well, here. Do you want a question? Uh, turn around real quick. Or should turn we around execute? real quick. Um, yeah. You're in charge. I've got a, I, I have a small tank of oxygen I'm willing to give you if you'll give us information. Can, can you point me the way out of here? Uh, we'll take you with us. We're leaving right now. But first, you have to tell us. I'll tell you. Where's the rest of your people? There was these. These things, these uh, uh, they were like they were like dogs, but they they were mechanical. They took out most of my squad. Only Robinson and I survived, but he he collapsed a while ago. We've we've been out of oxygen for an hour or two now. Kind how far back? Were, how far back were your men and their their weapons? Uh, we were over by uh, Juno Juno Tower. One of the Hong Kong says, "Yeah, that's about an hour from here." Is that is that is it's, is it in our route? It's Are we headed that way. way? Yeah. He says, "What was he doing at Juno Tower?" He says, "We were we were down here looking for guys like you, making arrests." He perfect, kind of perfect, he kind yeah. of kind of twitches when he says arrests. Yeah, don't worry. We're undercover, dude. Turn around. Let me hook up the oxygen for you. And when he turns, he's going to slit his throat. Okay. Oh, my God. He dies. And then he's going to spit on him. But he doesn't really have any spit because he's an android. You're going to do that old Greek woman spit. Put, put. Roll another D10 for me for your next hour as you're coming up to Juno Tower. Ten. Ten. As you're approaching Juno Tower... You feel the ground shake a little bit. You start to think there's like some kind of, you momentarily think of an earthquake, but then you realize you're on a space station. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, Jesus. Scatter, run. And then it happens again. And you see a look of terror come over the faces of all of the hung lungs. And they yep, look at you run. and say, the wire man, come quick, we must take cover. Very good, take cover. So you run. 
um, go to take cover inside uh, an uh, abandoned building here in the old city. And the, the ground continues to shake, and now you can hear sound as well. It's like like Godzilla approaching, right, kind of thing. Uh, get, this goes on, for a while. goes on for a while. Um, do you want to try to get a look at it, or do you just want to stay covered here in the building? Uh, if we can observe uh, with a safe safe uh, portal, then yes. But uh, he's going to get them uh, to get their grenades ready. And if mm -hmm. there's one close by, he's going to secure one of them himself. Sure. No problem at all. You can definitely do that. You got plenty. If he can look, then he will take a look. So you get a vantage point near a window where you can peek out into the ruined city. And you see this 10-story tall faceless behemoth built entirely of wires slowly stomp by. Every once in a while he stops and peers into a building. That's not creepy at all. But did he usually travel in one or two or three? It's just, just one, one of them. What? It's just one of them. And it walks over to the building and looks into the building across the uh, street from yours. So you get a good mm -hmm. look at its, at its back. And it moves on. Actually, it looks like it looks into your building as well but it's mm -hmm. fucking 10 stories tall. You're not 10 stories up. And then it continues moving on. Well, let's leave, let's, let's lose, uh, let's leave this uh, creature to its own. <clears throat> More than likely, it would have scattered other smaller things away from it. So mm -hmm. let's use this to our advantage and haul ass in its previous path. Should we try to find those uh, weapons? If we come across Not them, yes, team. but we've we've got a mission to go to. All right, roll percentile for me, Jen. A zero four. Uh, zero four. Okay. Zero roll, four. Roll a d ten for me. And by five. Five. And you come across another group of Honglungs going the other way. They tell the others, you know, they uh, oh, we saw the wire man. They're like, yeah, we saw him too. And uh, sorry, well, he he was going that way. But if you don't go too quickly, you shouldn't uh, shouldn't run into him unless he turns around. Just be careful. You know what to look for. Uh, Which way did you come from? Them. And did 15, you see uh... fifteen of them? We're we're coming from Doptown. We're on our way to the veins. When you passed through this area, did you see the the remains of of a group of uh, Tempest Marines? No, but we came across a strange creature not far from here uh maybe an hour back but uh seemed to be made of a mass of cybernetic limbs it's like a centipede fantastic which way was that back the way you're going oh great is there any way we can go around that uh, particular area and still continue on yeah for sure and that they will get that information and share it amongst the knowledgeable and mm -hmm. carry on. Okay. Ask carry any on. of them if they want to if they want to join us. Uh, well, we we've been ordered by Imogen to report to uh, to the veins. I think we're going to the church. Uh, he'll do the little symbol of the church. Yeah, he'll do the symbol to you as well, and he'll go on. Very good. Okay. And then you begin climbing the falls, a 20 story toxic sludge waterfall. Now, uh, is the guy there with all of the, the pinions and so forth to, to, to climb with? He's at the top. How hot? Uh, uh. But the Honglungs have brought gear for climbing. Okay, I was going to say, all right, so we're climbing. Mm -hmm. Made a roll for them or what? Um, nope, they actually have climbing gear. So let me double check here the falls. You wanted to make the climb. Rolls if you're climbing down unassisted. Yeah, you don't have to make rolls with gear. So um, you climb up the 20 story sludge waterfall. It's disgusting. Um, you know, you're covered in filth by the time you get to the top of it. Um, and then once you get up to the, uh, the falls, double check here. Yeah, then it's not a short walk from there to Doptown. Very good. Um, one, of the any lungs, we, one of the hung lungs who seems to kind of be the, the, the leader, you would guess, of this group. 
comes up to you and says, uh, you should be able to contact your people from here before we carry on. We're going to uh, rendezvous with the others, get the other men who are coming with us to the elevator. Uh, we suspect there will probably be some security on the side of the elevator as well. But do what you got to do to prepare. Contact your people if you need to. You have an hour. Very good. And then we'll meet back here. Uh, and this is at the lottery. The lottery is the uh, a place where they um, would hand out the O2 tanks and stuff whenever uh, Imogen's people bring them in. Right. Currently, it's mostly empty. Just a few oxygen beggars and such sitting around. But we will. Uh, I will. I will make an attempt to contact uh, the captain, Captain Albright. Captain Albright. This is uh, Android 14, ship servitor MD. Captain Albright, you're getting a ping. Okay, finally. Android 14 is trying to contact you on your direct line. Captain, 14. Um, Android 14, have, I, I, go ahead. You, you've, you've managed to escape the church. That's good. Um, yes, is the high I, gardener. Uh, I, res I rescued the high gardener the and got him to safety. Ah, good, good. Um, and you're safe two uh yes i made it down to the choke uh we have uh made arrangements to meet back at the ship wink he actually says wink wink and uh <laughs> i we have uh we're gonna be in need of another uh marine we, we lost the colonel in route Colonel Leroux uh, um, is missing? You, you ended up in the, the choke? This is the Caroline captain? Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> uh, by the way, 14, add two points of stress to your total. Sorry. Is it, do I know whether this is a secure line? I got it. Uh, it's, like it it's, a, a, it's a secure, we can make it. It's got a, yeah, it's got a little lock icon. Uh, I think it's secure. Says it on my comms. Uh, uh, yes, I, I am trying to make it back to the ship. Uh, have the other arrangements been made so that we can try to leave Wink? Um, we just have to send a time and a place. Um, do you have a time and a place? Uh, I should be making my way back uh, to the station within the hour, Wink. But in the air it is then. That should that gives you enough time. So uh, hopefully, uh, other the other plans to leave the uh, leave the station will have been secured by that time. Wink. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. What What do the winks mean? Um. I'm not uh, sure. Switch to channel three. And then as soon as he switches to channel three, switch 13. Switch back to 75. And then he, and we have a we have a secret one to go to. When I say 21, it actually means three. But when he switches to channel three, then we can talk openly. Okay, cool. It's done. Captain, we lost the colonel. He's dead. Uh, a mutant monster killed him, but he died valiant, valiantly. And uh, I'm leading an assault to the elevator. And once we've secured the elevator and we secured the airlock, then uh, the rest of the Hung Long forces, as far as I know, are going to start their random assaults and bombings and so forth. And I, I would imagine that the proverbial shit hits the fan at that point. Okay, well, that's the point at which um, Rijma um, needs to uh, deploy his troops, I guess. We've also got Commander Uzo um, with us in this. So well, Captain, I, would... I would say that uh, best of luck. I will do what I can with what I've got to work with. Hopefully, I make it back to the ship. Hopefully, I find you alive, and then we can get back to making... Uh, Making credits. Making credits, yeah. Good luck. Captain Albright, 
you see a, a high uh, like priority notification on the news channel for the station that says that uh, execution was carried out on um, High Garden or Uko Uka at, in the courts just like 13 minutes ago. He faced trial by combat and was killed in the procedure. procedure. I'll, I'll relay that to Joaquin. Um, the, he says the High Gardener is safe, so this wasn't. No, that was wasn't... one of his. That was one of his underlings mm, okay. who willingly gave up his life for the High Gardener. Yeah. They probably show a picture Still. of the uh, the court champion that the uh, you know the prosecutor, if you will, that defeated him. You know, it's a some big, hardened, scarred-looking marine-like guy in an exosuit with a uh, with a uh, uh, a pulse rifle. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Uh, he will be one of the first to die. We'll screen. We we'll just screenshot that guy and print it out. We'll send it. Yep. Oh, we'll take care of him later. Well, Captain, you have less than an hour to uh, get things together in order. I, I would imagine a semi-coordinated attack would be best. Yep. That's luck, what we're Captain. about to do. Good luck. Captain Albright, you're getting another ping on your communicator from a, a line you don't recognize. Um, answer it. It's Imogen Kane. Captain. Imogen. It's been a while. You again. Yes, and you. Um, have you spoken to your android yet and your uh, your colonel? Um, not in a while. Um, they were on a mission to secure... Um, to... Hold on a second. Oh shit, no, sorry. I thought that was Yandy for a second. I was supposed to be talking to him. <laughs> yeah, Imogen. Um, we've, talking, we've spoken to um, Android 14 just a few moments ago. Um, unfortunately, um, Lieutenant Colonel Rue did not make it from uh, the veins. Um, ah. He was lost in action. That's unfortunate. I thought he was going to lead the assault. Um, your, your android is he capable, or should I uh, send for repl a replacement? Um, I think fourteen probably has it um, on hand. Okay. Well, if you're confident, I'll be going up the elevator right after him. First trip, first wave. You can arrange my arrest shortly after that. Once I arrive at the station surface. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps 14 would like to carry out the arrest himself. And if you want to have anyone else uh, present near the airlock, um, that's where we'll be. That's where we'll be coming out. Okay. And you want this public, right? So. Well, yeah, you're taking me to the court, right? Yep. I assumed you'd be taking me yourself, Captain, for the bounty. That probably makes sense. Um, we just have to um, contact our other, our other um, friend uh, to let him know that an hour is about the timeline. That is the timeline. Well, they have a little less than an hour, I think, before they're going to uh, take the elevator. And then it'll take them a half an hour before they reach the, the uh, airlock checkpoint. But I've okay. given them, hopefully they still have it, uh, a device that they could use to uh, ensure no communications are, uh, are made during the assault. Hopefully someone knows how to use it. Um, you haven't got another uh, explosives expert, do you? Uh, experts are hard to come by down experts. here. I'm a bit of an expert myself. What do you want to know? Um, do you know if anyone else is uh, capable of um, using that device? It's Is it straightforward? Well, I mean, it's a bomb. You activate it. You place it where you want it to blow up. 
and get the fuck away mm -hmm. from it as fast as you can. Okay, true. I assume 14 would know how to use something like that, yeah? Um, yes. Yeah, so, and he has the bomb in his backpack. Does he? It's quite first, first of time. Does not. That was, that was the point of being in the back of the, of the, uh, the group who's carrying the bomb. Didn't uh, Lieutenant Colonel LaRue have the bomb when he was dragged through the wall? He was given the bomb, but I don't think he was carrying it. I don't know. LaRue, did you have it? Uh, I was under the impression I did have it. Yeah, I was under so... the impression as well. Very good. Just saying. Surely, surely he would have set it off in the last month's pull through, right? Hmm? Huh. Sure. Like the, the, the EMP. I that thought about it. I thought about just pulling out a grenade and just saying, "Ah, you know." But actually, it might have helped him. Come to think of it. <laughs> oh, that's right. Because they're oh, it was a cybernetic man. creature, and the EMP would have taken it out. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway. Let's retcon this whole thing, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So, Imogen says, "All right. Well, um, we'll be in touch." And uh, just be ready to pick me up, make it look convincing, but uh, not too convincing. Okay, there'll be plenty of my people in the area as well. Yeah. See you in a while. All right. Looking forward to it, Captain. And she winks and disconnects. God, these people are winking. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Albright doesn't like me. Um, yeah, so I guess we contact. Um, we use the uh, number. Contact Readmar. Readmar, and um, just send him. Um, what is it we want to So, send? in an we hour, they're going to take the elevator, then another half hour to go up, then they got to take the checkpoint, and it'll be at least another hour before. Um, Imogen gets there because the elevator has to go back down and come back up. So you're looking at like what, two and a half to three hours, something like that from now? Yeah. Roughly? Yeah, we'll give it the three hour mark, I guess. Um, so, and, and uh, uh, currently the time of day, let me think, what would it be at this point? They went two, six, eight. Yeah, so like another eight hours from there. All right, so currently it's about two o'clock in the afternoon on this day. Um, so yeah, you're looking at about 5 p.m. And currently the station is, like I said, still in a full state of lockdown. Only occasional ships are, are being allowed to leave. But even that has actually stopped at the moment ever since the uh, the real shit has hit the fan here. Um, you know, with the, the, the droogs and the uh, mercenaries fighting teamsters on the streets. Yeah, at the moment, they're not really letting more ships go because of the uh, situation. Plus the quarantine on the choke. Yeah, people are stretched too thin. And there are still bombings occurring once in a while. I guess we should roll a few of those. Um, oh, there was an actual bombing near one of the ships in the uh, dry dock. Um, there was a bombing um, <clears throat> in the uh, near, near the Stellar Burn as well. Um, Bombings near the uh, the chop shop. Uh, bombing uh, near the Canyon Heavy Market again, and uh, another bombing up maybe outside the uh, ice box. There's also strange reports um, on the news. Just just a weird little news tidbit about people um, in the slick worlds. Apparently, the icebox and the Slick World stuff has been extremely busy during the lockdown situation here on the station. People can't really go anywhere do anything. Um, but there have been reports of a mysterious figure roaming the Slick Worlds. And um, so far, 12 Slick Bay uh, users have died in, uh, in Slick Bay accidents. Several of the people who died reported seeing this mysterious figure. Um, and one of them had uh, sent a message to one of his game mates, one of his Slick World friends, saying that he had met a man named Caliban who was going to uh, bring freedom. 
to Prospero's dream for everyone before he died. And then it goes back to violence on the streets and, um, you know, the big story, of course, is the uh, doubling of the oxygen debt on all members, all the uh, civilians of Doptown, all three million plus people. Um, until the uh, Hong Lung leaders are turned in. So yeah, just another day on uh, Prospero's dream, right? The dream. So, Reedmar says, um, "What's the plan then?" You said you're going to have uh, you're going to have Imogen in about five, uh, at about five p.m. roughly, and then yep. you got to take her to the courts. Fortunately, the courts are very close by; they're not they're in the same region where the airlock is. You know, it's the center of the station. Yep. I guess we'll have to. Knowing Yandy's style, she'll probably make a big announcement and have an emergency session of court right away. She'll want to get rid of Image and Kane as quickly as possible. Yep. So when do we hit, Captain? What's the plan? You're the person in the middle of all this. Um, What's the signal? I think once we realize that... Uh, Yandy is in the courts. I don't think there's any point in hanging around. We should. Sorry, sorry, look at we should have you attack immediately. Um, All right. Well, my, you my people are going to do a very heavy assault here on the docks. Try to secure the docks, uh, yeah. including taking out station defense. Mm, excellent. Yeah. We want to secure uh, the uh, opportunity to leave the station or let others into the station if need be. But I'll also have people uh, at the courts if that's where you want them. Um, yes, we do. We want um, an assault at the courts to uh, see if we can take Gandhi out. Um, if not, um, I, I thought you were uh, going to might... her. Um... Weren't you going to be going to her, um, what, do you, what do you call it, her chateau? Basically. Her estate. Her estate. Um, well, we're it's going probably, to be... It's probably uh, like a fucking penthouse. It'd be more like what it is. We're going to be presenting Imogen in the courts. Um, and Yandy is going to be there. Um, the whole point in her Imogen being there is to bring Yandy to that location. Um, right, but remember, I guess when the, this. Yandy's going to try to assault, leave that location as soon as the assault starts. She's going to go for security. Yeah. So she'll, we let need, her, she'll let her goons do team. all the fighting while she goes back and hides out in her pet house. So we need a team um, in place um, in uh, her estate. I thought that was that your you job, said? Captain. I mean, I can send some support, but. Um, I got people assaulting the courts looking to try to take out uh, Cutter and his men if necessary. Not to mention maybe uh, Brunhilde. She'd be a prized target if we could get hold of her. Captain. Go ahead. Who's that, um, Exo? Exo yeah. Solberg. Yeah. If, if, she, if people know where she lives, and we were told of this before, um, well, one, I wanted to know, was that EMP device to be used in the courts to kind of allow people to swarm in and, and then force her to retreat? If the answer is yes, um, I might try to build a small EMP device. I mean, I have engineering, jury rigging, scavenging, uh, like mm -hmm. four or five. Yeah, you're an engineer. You could definitely build an EMP, I think. Do you have oh, any explosives so knowledge? 
I don't. That's the one thing. But do I need explosives to really set an EMP charge? Not necessarily. A, a device that 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 sends an EMP charge out. No, no. It doesn't. It doesn't need to explode. It just needs yeah. to be a device that mm -hmm. sends the EMP signal out. It just and, has to be uh, interfaced correctly. Yeah. So I could build that if that was to be deployed there. I've got three hours. I can try to jury rig and build that um and leave my robot aside my new robot but uh and he's looking great um um but at the or is the emp to be used you know at her penthouse wherever she is um you know does it need a team of hung lungs uh, people who have hand-to-hand -hand combat items you know or people with submachine guns projectile mechanical weapons um, and an EMP there kind of kills communication and knocks out elect electronic-based weapons, right? I mean, it could be used in either place. Um, that's up to you guys. I want to hear what Reedmar has to say, and you, Captain, because... Reedmar's like, what are you talking I about mean, an EMP? I don't have an EMP. I don't, I don't oh, I can one. build one. Uh, but no, but listen, if it cuts out communication, coordination uh, around the courts, that just creates better odds for the hung lungs that'd be and, very helpful for our people as well and if it and captain if you can tell 14 that you know if a team if we know where her place is and they can crawl through you know the ducks and whatever a small team armed and know exactly where they're going um and then then that's how probably the best way to accomplish it. I just don't know where I'm going to, I'm, I'm already, as I'm talking to you, I'm in engineering and I'm building this goddamn thing right now. Uh, you just figure out where you want to deploy it. Um, but I think that that's the question, you know, does it get deployed there or where she lives to allow a small team, you know, to, to, to execute her. That, I think that's the question that, in terms of working out the plan, but uh, Reedmar I, uh, says, "Listen, I have a, a little bird. He told me that if you get to the penthouse, I can arrange um, an invitation inside for you from the entrance." Bingo! Yeah. So if if a, if an if a hung lung team of their best people can crawl, you know, unbeknownst to her through back channeling you know corridors ducks to there and then read mark and get them in then that's it then it's done but uh but to create that effective uh maybe it's best at the courts if i build an emp that somebody can get there and and detonate just before the attack happens Plans? Well, I'm I'm getting to work on it. You guys figure out how you want to use it. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Um, well, the EMP that they have, they needed to knock out um, communication. Yeah, they're supposed to use that when they take on the airlock security. Yeah, the airlock. Um, has did Imogen tell us? I know she says that she could get us to. You know, close to the bedroom of the alley or whatever. She said um, they can get you outside the penthouse, not inside the penthouse. Inside the penthouse. All right. I think so, she told you yeah. that. That's probably what I meant to tell you anyway. Okay. Readmar says, all right, so um, I'll get my people in place then. Because we're going to take the docks and we're going to hit the courts hard. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll see what way it goes with Yandy. If we can take her to the courts, fair enough. If she escapes, we can go to the penthouse and gain access. All right. I'll go talk to my people. You talk to yours. And I'll see you in a few hours or so. Knowing how these, uh, even with the courts, it'll still take a little time once they know they've captured her. They'll want to set something up. They'll want to make a proper show. I reckon you'll have another couple of hours still before any of the theatrics start. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. But I haven't spoken to Yandi myself, so I guess maybe you know something more than I do. No? I don't think I do. I haven't spoken to Yandi yet. All right. Uh, you'll be receiving a message here soon. It's going to have another uh, contact number that you'll be able to reach me on the next time. Um, I'm going to destroy this uh, communicator right now. Okay. Read my route. And he's out. Over and out. Okay. Um, Captain, you're going to be taking the her into the court, am I correct? You're taking her into custody? Quotation mark. Yes, I'm going to um, meet um, you Tina at the airlock and I'm just trying, I'm just looking at her on my workbench and you know, you've been having a little bit of trouble breathing these days, right? The air on the station, like you're having to carry a small tank of oxygen with a with something over your face, you've got to take some extra oxygen, right? Um, wherever you go, um, I'm just trying to think about, I'm going to build this EMP device into your supplemental oxygen unit. Um, so nobody's going to take that off of you. You can choke a bit if they try to take it away from you or whatever, but you're going to wear it. You're going to wear this mask and I'm going to build it so that you can trigger it just going to send the pulse out. So that's what I'm spending the next couple of hours building. Um, does that sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. And just for clarification, what will, will this EMP I'll knock take out? Everything. It'll take out cybernetics? It'll take out... Every communication device, take anything. All electronics. All electronics. I mean, in theory... Yeah. It'll take out pulse rifles. It'll, it'll take, take out, out. It'll even take out life support. It'll take out life support, right? Um, and it's not going to be long looks, term it's, anyway. It's, it's, you know. The good thing is the hung long commandos hardly yeah, need any support anyway, fine. and yeah, they really. use and they use hand to hand weapons. Mm -hmm. So wiping out everything else around them is got to be a good thing. Not only that, if you want to make her run, and you want to make her panic. Nothing's going to make her panic more than everything going down all at the same time, right? So I think it serves all kinds of purposes. Anyways, clunk, clank, clank, I get back to work. Excellent. Um, so Svalbard, why don't you give me a roll on your, um, I guess, be engineering? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Is there electronics or anything in there, too? That is a 35. 35? And mine? So it'd be uh, your, your um, uh, speed plus engineer. your engineering. Yeah. Oh, speed plus. Oh, yeah. No, that's yeah, definitely. A that device. is a 59. 59% nice. is mine. And you rolled a 35. Cool. Yep. Yep. You'll build a nice, you get yep. this improvised uh, device built into this rebreather thing. It's oxygen yep. aid. That the uh, captain's going to be wearing, taking yep. advantage of his advanced age. That's right, and uh, just trying to make something that won't be checked at the door. Put it that okay. Way. So, what's your uh, your plan of action then, Captain? Um, Where are you going? I guess we'd have to set you? up. We'd have to set up. Pretty soon to, to yeah, make about it an up hour on foot from here to the courts. And no taxis. No. Um, yep. So. Then again, it's pretty lawless out there. You might be able to hijack something. Hijack like a I cargo suppose, lifter. <laughs> I don't suppose anyone can drive any. Can they? I don't know who you got. With, you got a any... pilot, don't you? A pilot can pilot, right? Can the pilot drive? And not just two separate skills. Maybe that. Right? No, that's true. That's a separate piloting. But... So what are you trying well, to get That's a separate specialization, that? but yeah. Yeah. Well, we may need to um, uh, procure some transport once we uh, leave the ship and head towards the courts. Is that something 
you have any experience with Mr. Petridge? Well, I mean, I can pilot. I mean, yeah. if you really yeah. want me to, you know, I don't have, I can't drive you in a vehicle, but if you want me to pilot this ship to the other side of the station, I can do that. What about a small shuttle? Is there like a small shuttle we could hijack? Quite possibly, yeah. Let me see here. Skills. Pilot. Now, hold on. Oh. You're, okay, we, we're using the words hijack. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, piloting and is for air world. and spacecraft. Driving is a separate skill. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, air and I, spacecraft. I air and spacecraft. They had a. Didn't I say you had air cabs? Yeah, I'm sure you, you could manage an air yeah, cab. He, you could use you? piloting for an air cab for sure. Sure. The, 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 yeah, I have no problem. I wouldn't say hijack. I'd say borrow. All right. All right. Um, do I need any like weapons with me? Yes. That would be a good idea. Do you have any spare weapons for him? I'm sure we do, right? I've, I don't know. I've got a, I've got a pi, I brought back a pulse rifle and a clip. So Okay, give him a pulse rifle. No. Nope. You have that. Do you have any other extra weapons, Ron? You have those foam guns that fourteen stuff. Yeah, we've got a bunch of foam guns. Take that. You can give take him one. A, you can give if, him a do foam we have gun and a uh, mark do we have any knives? Like just plain knives, you know, that don't have any electronics in them. I, just I have a vibe shedding, so. The yeah. vibe shedding, I'm thinking more of them. Um, yeah, the vibe shedding might get taken out by the EMP. At least the vibrational effect of it. Yeah, yeah that's, why, that's why a submachine then it just gun. Becomes, then it just becomes a machete. And, <laughs> Yeah, I mean the submachine gun is that just a like a purely mechanical yep. instrument? <laughs> yep. That's better. Smart rifles use electronics. Pulse rifle, does a pulse rifle have an electronic guidance system? Oh yeah. it's not, but it does have an electronic counter, but that counter doesn't matter if it's disabled because it still fires. Um, bum, 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 pulse rifle. I'd imagine a pulse rifle is a pulse purely rifle does have a weapon. smart link system that connects to a HUD, but you don't have to use that. Uh, nope. Yeah, I don't have uh, that. Fire a pulse rifle without uh, electronics. Smart rifle. Can you... Smart rifle has a whole smart link system and the uh, the neck the spectroscope, so it'd just be a rifle basically. Then yep. the electronics take out the other stuff, so they can also operate without. Without electronics, uh, shotgun of course is without electronics. Um, I make sure I have that foam gun as well on me because somebody said that there's a foam gun, and I like the idea of non-lethal. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you have a foam gun and a pulse rifle. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna fit right in around here. That what about you, Gordon? What do you got, Gunnery Chief? Uh, I've got a pulse rifle. A pulse rifle? Okay. What do you guys got for any kind of armor or anything? Anybody got any? Nobody does, do they? Uh, Is there any other? I've still got advanced battle dress. Oh, you have the advanced battle dress, right? Nice. So Porter's got some armor. I don't think you have any More extras. Armor. Did you buy any ABDs or anything for the ship? No. Uh, no, we we outfitted all the mercenaries who then died, and we never reclaimed the armor. <laughs> Not even a spare flag jacket running around. Well, you'd need um, like ABDs or a hazard suit or a vac suit or something like that. So no. Um, actually, isn't there like a light battle dress as well? There's advanced battle dress and there's standard battle dress. Yeah, like a standard battle dress, is light plated armor. That's probably what you're thinking of. But uh, standard dress for Marines. But you've got advanced battle dress, yeah, Chris? The heavy outfit. Yes, the uh, yeah, so plus fifteen. Yep, it's got a small exoskeleton that allows you to carry twice your normal weight. Yep, cool. Awesome. Okay, so you guys are gearing up for action. 14. Um, it's suspicious being all dressed up in the back suit. Too. Back down to uh, old 14 there. Oh, and I am going to make sure that I have my back suit underneath my clothing if I can. Or I'm just going to wear it. No, vac suits have to go no. over. All right, well, I just, I just I want to make sure I have it on, just in case. No, it's okay. not. It's a hazard suit that I have. 
Do I have a back suit? So. Yeah. Yeah, it's a spacesuit, basically. Like you look like yeah. an astronaut. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk around in a fucking astronaut suit. I'm just driving. I need it. <laughs> All right. Fourteen. You've got your uh, twenty hung lungs that were with you. Um, plus, you pick up um, like seventy-eight more, or whatever, seventy-nine more, or however many you want. Um, in fact, you actually will scoop up um, a couple hundred more, basically, and you'll re uh, rendezvous with Imogen when you go back to your meeting point. She's there as well. Uh, Imogen, unfortunately, unfortunately, we lost uh, Colonel Larue. I heard. And, Do you still have the device? The the monster that took him, I got the device as well. Fuck. We need that device. I can, I can, I can probably get another one. It's going to be very expensive on short notice. Do you have any money? How much do you need? For an improvised uh, EMP device on this kind of notice. One second. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, it's back here. That's what I'm looking for. Hundred thousand credits. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Mark off a hundred thousand credits. You got it. I'll be back in a half an hour. And then we'll move on the elevator together. I'm gonna to be leading the team right behind you after the main assault. Sounds like a plan. I'm prepared. All right. Let's see. For that session, um, who is in physical danger? LaRue, for sure. 14, technically. Um, yeah, 14, you could have 10 XP. Everybody else can have um, 6 XP. Uh, LaRue would have got 10 XP too, but he unfortunately didn't make it. So, And that's where we'll stop this session. Next session then. Let the body start hitting the floor, right? Yep. Yeah.